We start off with the sinking of a passenger ferry off the southwestern coast of Korea earlier on this Wednesday. The, there were over 450 people on board, about 320 of which were students traveling with teachers on their way to the resort island of Jeju. The Coast Guard has confirmed at least four deaths so far, and we have our Park Ji-won in the studio to give us more details. ji -won? Hi, Yusan. Well, the Sewol Ho ferry started to sink at around 9 this morning, some 20 kilometers off the coast of the Jindo Island. Well, four people have been confirmed so far, including a 22 year old ferry employee, Park Ji Young, and a male high schooler uh, who was on board because of the school trip, and two other males who have not yet been identified. So far, the number of people rescued stands at around 160, with the remaining 290 or so people still missing, and the search operation is still going on. Well, Chiwa, now finding them safely seems like a race against time. Right. How is the uh, rescue operation uh, coming along at this point? Yes, the government is in all-out rescue operations. Um, by employing 72 ships and 18 aircrafts, along with hundreds of specialized forces and uh, scuba divers are actively searching for survivors. <laughs> President Park Geun-hye and Defense Minister Kim Guan jin have ordered that all Navy, Coast Guard and nearby vessels help with the efforts. The Coast Guard particularly sent a rescue team of 40 people into the sunken vessel starting 5 p.m. to find trapped survivors. However, rescue operations are expected to be difficult as the tidal currents are intensifying. So, uh, Jiwon, can you give us some details of the time when the ferry actually started to sink? Yes, you saw survivors say the heavy fog was in the morning and they didn't know whether the ferry would start uh, would set off this morning. It was around 8.30 that the ferry decided to set off, but it wasn't long after the passengers uh, heard the loud bang sound uh, and the ship suddenly started to tilt by 60 degrees. So let's listen to what the survivors say about the moment. The waves were calm when the ferry set off. Then all of a sudden the ship felt like it flipped on its side violently. People were cornered and they couldn't get out of their cabins because they couldn't open the doors. The ship tilted by 60 degrees and slowly inclined to 90 degrees before capsizing and that was when I was rescued. I screamed for 30 to 40 minutes in the ferry. Things were falling and people were sliding down the ship. Well, considering it happened earlier in the day and the rescuers arrived there pretty early, uh, what's taking so long to um, locate the missing people? Well, experts say if the ship tilts by more than six, like just 30 degrees, the people cannot move around. But in this case, a uh, ship tilted by more than 60 degrees suddenly. So experts say that many people have been trapped in the ship because they couldn't open the doors. And it seems that caused more people trapped in their cabin. The Coast Guard also say there's high possibility that uh, because power was cut off suddenly after the ship tilted. And early on, the reported number of the rescued was much higher uh, in the day, giving some hope to families of the missing people. Why was there a sudden change in the figure? Yes, up until 3 in this afternoon, the um, number of rescued people was known, uh, by, uh, known to be around 368. And it was um, at 4, the government held a press briefing that the number has been has, there has been errors, and the actual number of people rescued stood at around 160, much less than the earlier figure, and that was due to double counting. And let's listen to what uh, the Vice Minister of the um, Ministry of Security and Public Administration had to say about this case. The reason for the confusion in the number of rescued people, the reason it was revised down from the earlier figure of 368 to the current 164, is because some of those who were rescued were counted twice. And any more updates on the cause of the accident? Of course, it's, there's not still clear as of now, but I have to note that this ferry was driven by a backup captain because the original captain was on vacation. And this backup captain uh, set off the ship later 
yeah. than the expected schedule. The, so the captain changed the route. And at the site of the crash, waters are 37 meters deep with lots of rocks in the area. However, the depth of the ship dipping into the water only stands at around 6 meters, so we cannot say for sure it was rocks that caused the accident. The ship was known to be made in 1994, and it's about 20 years old. The ferry went through a thorough checkup earlier this year, so further investigation is necessary to find out what caused this ferry. Sink. All right, Chiwon, thank you for that, and do keep us updated throughout the day.